Today we received a new update from Adobe called uh, AI powered denoise. So Adobe finally is catching up on the AI game uh, to get in most of their products. And uh, today we have a new update uh, that might help us with a lot of the past pictures where we had a high uh, noise. And I'm really excited to try this new tool together with you. All right, guys, so to test this new feature, what I did is I put together uh, some of the pictures that I had taken in the past with high ISO. And I wanted to test together with you how that uh, uh, new feature works. So let's get started. So um, I'm going to start with this picture. That's because I did test before and I know the result, but uh, we'll see the result together. So here, this is a nice picture uh, that I took some time ago. It's 6400 ISO. At this uh, view, you probably don't see a lot, but if you actually get close together, you see there's a lot of noise. So uh, we're going to see how the new feature works. So there's, there are two ways to use this feature. So the first way is to go to photo and simply click on enhance. And that's something you can do for small resolution to increase the resolution and also to use this new uh, denoise feature. So let's get started. So I go here, photo, enhance. It will ask me how much it should improve the quality. So you can see, you can hit, click here to see before and after. So that looks already good. If you want, you can do more. I think this will make the image a little bit softer. We can do less, so a bit noisier, a bit sharper. I think we can try the first the default setting for now. And it's going to take 15 seconds. This depends on the GPU of your computer. It might take longer for some older computers, but it's not too bad actually. So let's go ahead and try. Enhance. Uh, so uh, to try this feature, you have to have shot your photo in RAW. So you cannot do this. Uh, you cannot use this feature in JPEG uh, pictures. So uh, just to remember. And uh, you are supposed to use this tool before you uh, use anything else. So if you're going to develop your pictures, some other things, first use this and then do the other uh, steps. All right, so we have the result already. I think it looks fantastic, honestly. So before and after. So let's look closer. Before. Wow. I am really impressed. Look at the hair. And we didn't lose anything and we didn't have to do anything really. If you remember the old way to do this was to use all this uh, luminance, detail, contrast, color, details, smoothness. I think you would need a PhD degree to understand what all these, these things do. They were not intuitive at all. It was really difficult for us to explain to any student why they have to have a uh, play with six uh, sliders just to make one edit. And now there's just one button. So we're going to go ahead and try with other pictures. Um, maybe we can try the landscape just to see. Uh, maybe like this one. All right. So this was a photo I took in Colombia. Obviously, it still needs some editing for the uh, people as well. But we're going to see, so if I get closer, as you can see, quite a lot of noise because it was handheld, it was really dark. F8, I wanted to get the background, obviously, that kind of uh, made it really difficult for the camera, the slow shutter speed. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and this time we go to develop, we just do it the other way. Under detail, you have denoise. So let's look at the faces. There you go. Let's go. While we wait, we can also try uh, on this picture the new automatic face detection to make the people brighter. I think I can do that as a bonus content. Uh, so let's see. In 15 seconds, we're going to have this. And um, we can also add automatically keywords. We am going to show that in a second. So here we go. I think that's, that's, that's much better than before. Now, uh, here I would definitely do subject. Let's see what it does. Not bad. And we can maybe increase the exposure as if I use the off camera flash. There you go. Not too bad. So this is the second picture. Let's try the third picture. I am really liking this. 
Mm, this one from a wedding I shot. Uh, quite noisy if you scroll in. I think it's gonna be quite easy for Lightroom. Let's give it a try. Develop the noise. All right. Yeah, it was. This one was really quick. This to should get the preview. Not bad. Huh? Let's go. So what it does is basically creates a new file in a DNG format and applies the um, applies the effect. Uh, I will also show you in a second how we do the keywording. So what you do is go to Lightroom Classic. Oh, there you go. It's already done. It's fantastic. I love this new feature. So we go uh, settings. Um, I think it's under file handling and automatically add keywords to enhance the images. There you go. I will definitely do that uh, so that in the future when you go enhance image, you can find your enhanced images easily uh, by looking at the keywords. Did it do that already for this one? No. So let's do finally for another photo. Let's maybe even crop it. I definitely don't need so much sky. And we could probably don't need that building neither. Okay, this is our picture. So there we go. Denoise, let's go. Hence. And we're gonna see uh, the details here. How to fix this? As usual with this kind of landscapes, if something is overlit, it kind of uh, um, looks overexposed, and you lose the details. But we might be able to recover them. Okay, the noise is already gone. And uh, what we can do is. Mm, probably not something global. I would probably create a mask. I would probably use a brush. It's much easier. We go here. We reduce the highlights and slightly exposure only for the faces of this building. There we go. Can also play with the. Texture and clarity. All right. Uh, yeah, I cannot stop myself. It, this is this was supposed to be just about uh, denoise, but uh, there's some obvious changes we can do here. Anyway, so this looks also great. I hope you enjoyed the possibilities you can do with this new tool. And uh, this is my first uh, uh, YouTube video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments uh, if you like to see more, if I can do better, if everything is fine. And uh, yeah, talk to you later. As you are watching the before and after versions of each photo that we worked on, I recommend you check out our Lightroom full day course. Uh, in a single day, you will learn all the necessary features of Lightroom Classic that you will need for your post processing. We also teach you our recommended workflow and file management strategies. This course is available in German, French and English in all the major cities in Switzerland. For details, check our website at swissphotoclub.com.